Renown and main quests. Winning a main quest will grant you renown. You receive greater renown for clearing the main quest battle while capturing as few regions as possible. That's interesting. Renown can be exchanged for various items in your personal quarters. So if you skip places, you get more renown. So is renown worth capturing all regions? I mean, if you capture a region, you get to do a battle. So you get XP, you get proficiencies. Right, we have to you get support. Out exactly where we stand in this war. You, you get some like weapons and stuff. Like you get all sorts of stuff from that. Plus, then you can do surveys and get more stuff. Like I feel like you would still wouldn't want to skip regions. Renown can't be worth it. Can't. I doubt it. Anyways. As you all know, the Empire has taken the Great Bridge of Murden. The Imperial Army now occupies what was formerly House Phlegathon territory. House Gloucester has surrendered to them as well. Doubtless an agonizing decision on my father's part. House Ordelia, to the east of the bridge, has also vowed not to take up arms against the Empire. We had precious little in the way of arms in the first place. You have my deepest apologies. You don't have to apologize, Lysithia. Count Ordelia did what anyone would have done. And now Lawrence and Lysithia can't even go back home! That's not all. After the battle, the Imperial Army crossed Gloucester territory and attacked Garrig Mott. Rhea and the rest of the Central Church have apparently fled to the kingdom for sanctuary. Okay. I suppose none of us will be able to visit our old school anytime soon. I hope no one from the church was hurt. There's no point in worrying about it now. But they're all tougher than you think. Now that the monastery has fallen, the front lines are rapidly expanding north. It won't be long before Deirdre is within their reach. And if our capital falls, the Alliance goes with it. We have to stop them there, no matter the cost. That all sounds well and good. But how large of an army will you even be able to raise at this point? I don't think House Edmund will be able to send more troops. I'm sorry. Which means House Goneril is the last of the five great lords upon whom we can rely. Yeah, Goneril's all we need. I'm not so sure the combined forces of Houses Regan and Goneril will be enough to hold off the whole Empire. We'll just have to work with what we've got. And let's not forget the hero of Daphnel. Um, who? Oh, Judith. He speaks of Judith, the head of House Daphnel. She was once counted among the five great lords. We can definitely count on her. It helps that she seems to really like Claude for some reason. But we can't expect much from her in terms of sheer numbers. Any chance the kingdom could send troops? I doubt they'll have any to spare. They've just started engaging the Empire themselves over in the west of Fargus. So if they're fighting the Empire, how does the Empire have so many troops? And besides, I'm not sure how much we can really trust them. I still have no idea what's going on in Dimitri's head. Well, we have an idea of how big our army's gonna be, if nothing else. What's the plan? I'm still working that out. For now, all we can do is hold our ground and fight with everything we've got. You can always count on me. And my muscles. <laughs> Thanks, Raphael. That unfounded confidence of yours is like music to my ears. Lady Rhea, Seventh. Oh, Dimitri. I'm relieved you both made it out unharmed. We're getting a cutscene for Here's them. We arrived just in time. Joining up with the church. You have our utmost thanks for aiding in our retreat, Your Majesty. I can only apologize for the trouble we may have caused your outfit. King Dimitri, I cannot express just how grateful I am to you and all the fine people of Fargus. The honor is mine. Your order provided me with immeasurable aid during my ascension to the throne. My citizens would have branded me a heathen had I not returned the favor. And now it seems we are the ones who owe a debt. The church shall provide whatever assistance it can to your efforts. If you see it prudent, I have no objection to placing the knights of our order under kingdom command. Thank you both. While it pains me to qualify our hospitality, this kingdom is not a wealthy one. Neither in goods nor provisions. I fear we may struggle to compensate your soldiers. Or even to feed them. You needn't trouble yourself with such concerns. Your generous offer of shelter will be more than enough. Very well. We've lingered here long enough. Let us make for Ferdiad. There's much to discuss. The church, the kingdom, and the battles to come. It seems the Leicester campaign oh. is proceeding smoothly. We're getting a cutscene with them as well. Indeed. 
Count Gloucester's timely surrender allowed us to advance with minimal casualties. Ferdinand's battalion is tightening the noose around House Regan's territory as we speak. The Minister of Military Affairs is making the necessary preparations to move his forces into the Alliance as well. Once Count Burglies takes the field, we won't have anything to worry about on that front. Yes. And at the moment, we have little choice but to divert most of our military might to our conflict with Fargus on the Western Front. I fear Count Rowe's abrupt change in allegiance will have only served to further provoke the Kingdom's army. Ah, yes. Him. He disregarded our timetable and launched an attack on the Kingdom without our approval. And in doing so, has done nothing but make trouble for the Empire. Still, we can hardly afford to abandon him. We have led our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. What a troublesome policy that has turned out to be. The policy may be irksome, but we will not fail to honor it. Dispatch immediate reinforcements to Count Roe. Understood. And what message shall I send to Count Burglis? I'm still a little wary of the Alliance's plans. But tell him we leave matters in his capable hands. Getting a peek at what they're up to. Golden, golden wildfire, the golden guardian. Yeah, that. After Count Gloucester's surprising defection, the Empire's invasion of Leicester begins in earnest. The Alliance Roundtable unravels, and the region descends further into chaos. Yet the Alliance does not yield. Claude takes command and rallies his comrades, insisting that so long as they can withstand the Imperial onslaught on Regan territory, they will survive. We will survive. And that's where things are. It's only oh, a matter of time before the Imperial army marches on Regan territory. Once again, Margrave Edmund is only offering financial support instead of troops. My apologies. I'll do all I can on the front lines in my adoptive father's stead. And on top of that, he sent his adorable daughter <laughs> to risk her life on the battlefield. Unbelievable. I'm so sorry for the trouble. You have nothing to apologize for. The blame rests squarely on your father's shoulders. Mark my words, the next time I see him... Vengeance will be mine. I think we get the picture, Judith. Save that fire for the battlefield. We're finally free of Count Gloucester and his overbearing pompousness. You don't need to go filling his shoes. Isn't that exactly why you called me here? If I'm to fill his seat, I assume I also get his right to complain. Hmm. Honestly, what's going on? The Alliance is facing an unprecedented crisis, and these great lords can't even show up to their own round table. House Ordelia has no ability to resist the Empire, given our location and lack of military power. Were my father to take his seat at the round table now, the Empire might interpret it as a show of defiance. I take it that means House Ordelia won't be contributing to the Alliance in any way. Yeah, they just gave us one girl. Two of the five great lords have effectively forfeited their seats. Why not fill Ordelia's chair with someone like Viscount Seward? Who? Not happening. Can you imagine the fuss Albany and Burgundy would kick up when they learned we only asked Seward to participate? Those three houses have always been treated as equals. Besides, I doubt Viscount Burgundy could come even if we did invite him. Just invite all three of them anyway. House Burgundy's circumstances are much the same as House Ordelia's. In fact, their position may be even worse than ours. How are we supposed to stop the Empire like this? House Goneril was supposed to swoop in and save our skins, and even they couldn't bother to attend. <laughs> Leave it to my brother. To oh, there it is. The mushrooms. Just before an important meeting. The mushrooms have returned. Don't you make excuses for him. If Holst couldn't make it, then the Duke should have come himself. House Goneril has already pledged their full support. They're not the problem here. Then why waste our time with this conference? Our troops were provided by the Alliance's nobles. You know we can't act without a resolution from the round table, even if it is a mere formality. And anyway, the entire alliance needs to be on the same page if we're going to coordinate our military strategy. Well, as I said, I'm afraid there's not much House Ordelia can do, even if we are informed. Be that as it may, we still have to get this done. Let's move on and discuss our strategy for the battles to come. This is it, folks. Right now, we need everyone focused on defending Deirdre. Here's the plan. Here's our plan. 
Cutscene. The we will the fight them with cutscenes. It looked like they had a number of mercenary groups working for them. And yet, I didn't see any sign of Gerald's company among them. It's not like that was the only battlefield. Mm. And there's no shortage of mercenary companies. I wonder what they're up to. That's true. And you don't have any inkling of when the Empire is going to launch their attack on Deirdre? No clue. They could strike tomorrow for all I know. Then I imagine there's no time to waste in formulating a plan and fortifying the city's defenses. Yep. If we lose the initiative, the battle's practically over. If that's the case, then why are all of you just idling the days away? The army can't act until Claude returns from those meetings. It's like no one can even sneeze around here without it turning into an endless debate. A king or emperor can make things happen with a wave of their hand. But I guess it's not so simple when you're leading an alliance. Ruling by consensus may work in peacetime, but it seems to have a distinct disadvantage during a war. Hey, Claude's calling for us. Sounds like the round table's finally over. We better get going. If we don't hurry, all the food will be gone. Oh no, not the it's food. It's not a banquet, you know. It's a war council. But yeah, we should move. I'll be right there. Let's start with introductions, shall we? Allow me to present the head of House Daphnel. The Honorable... The name's Judith. I'm joining mm. the war council at the invitation of our supreme leader here. It is a pleasure to see you once more, Lady Judith. I am heartened to know that we will be fighting at your side. You're Gloucester's kid, right? You've grown into quite a handsome boy over the last few years. <laughs> I'm sure all the men here seem like little boys to someone like Judith. <laughs> ah, Duke Goneril's daughter. You've grown quite lovely yourself. You'll be outshining me in no time. Are you kidding? I've got a long way to go before I can compete with you. I don't really know what you two were talking about, but I think I'm ready for it to be over. Let's <laughs> start the briefing. So, you want us to hamper the Imperial Army's advance in order to delay their arrival at Deirdre? That's right. And we'll use every bit of time we gain to tighten up our defenses around the capital in preparation. Then we have to avoid losing too many of our allies before the battle in Deirdre. Exactly. Hold them off as best you can, but the second you're in any real danger, I want you to fall back. It's easy enough to order retreat after retreat, but I don't see how that's supposed to win the day. Ask for more details. Can you be more specific? How exactly are we going to slow down the Imperial Army? We'll use our terrain advantage to impede their progress and keep them off balance. A small force should be more than enough to handle that. Ultimately, our goal is just to buy time until the defenses are ready. And if we can just stop them from taking Deirdre... Claude, I have to ask, are you keeping some kind of incredible top secret plan from us? Uh, well, yes, he is. It's called Hilda Smash. Sure, I may have something up my sleeve, but it won't amount to anything if we fail to protect Deirdre. I can. But if we succeed, then this plan of yours will get us out of our predicament. If that's the case. Yes, and there is still hope. You kids are all so young. Don't do anything rash and get yourselves killed. All right. All right. Let's reclaim all that time we wasted on the roundtable conferences. Watch each other's backs out there. I know we can do this. You can now invite allies with whom you have attained support level C or higher on expeditions. Upon reaching support level C with an ally, you'll be able to send, spend activity points to invite them on an expedition. On expeditions, you can get to know your ally better through conversation and questions. You'll gain support points based on how well you can carry the conversation. If all goes well, you'll get a quiet moment to observe your ally before returning to peace. So this is the new tea time. Got a minute? Sure, Claude. What's going on? The plan is to hamper the Imperial Army's advance while tightening up our defenses. Mm. I know I came up with it, but I'm not sure we can manage it given our inferior numbers. Add that you're also getting a late start. Take an optimistic view. Are you sure? We got the home turf advantage at least. I think we can pull it off. I appreciate the optimism. I needed that small glimmer of hope. One step at a time. Well, the Imperial Army waits for no man. I'd better hurry and start giving out orders. Anyway. I had some new facilities built in preparation for the coming battle. Excellent. Bet you're just dying to check them out. Well, go on, don't be shy. They're sure to come in handy. Check out new facilities. It's a record keeper. You can reflect on your previous battles here. 
Pass has much to teach us. Come here whenever you wish to ponder your previous actions. Speak with the record keeper, and you'll be able to freely select and replay any battle you've already completed. You can also select any side quest that hasn't been completed after completing a chapter. In auxiliary battles, you'll be able to use all of your units, not just those present at the point in the story. However, any units that have been lost in battle will be unavailable. Also note that in classic mode, you may lose units even in auxiliary battles. In auxiliary battles, persuading a unit to join you or failing to do so will not affect the roster of your allies in the story. Okay. Flexman. Hand over your weapons and I'll forge them good. Remember, the only thing standing between you and death is the weapon in your hand. And the armor on your back. At the blacksmith, you can enhance your weapons, you can use resources to forge new weapons, or repair a weapon to its original state. Supply Master. We collect any unneeded armaments and resources here. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army, nothing can go to waste. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. The supply depot, you can exchange surplus weapons and resources for other resources, and also have resources collected automatically. As the story progresses, you'll be able to trade for materials used to expand facilities. Battalion Master. Ooh, can we use battalions now? I can recommend battalions to you. I'm certain having experienced troops on your side will be of great help. Well, well. Hello, you, you can hire battalions from the Battalion Guild. Battalions can be assigned to units. Every battalion is most effective against a certain enemy weapon type. Facing off against that weapon type will trigger a battalion effect, which makes that battalion one tier stronger and decreases damage taken. Battalions have endurance, which lowers when the unit commanding the battalion takes damage. If endurance reaches zero, the battalion effect disappears. All right, now I can go around and talk to everyone. Oh, Anna! Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my shop, or or what's going to be my shop if I ever open the darn thing. Anyway, hiya. I'm Anna. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. If I find anything good out there, I'll add it to my stock. So keep checking back. Okay, so Anna's gonna have a shop soon. Oh no. Oh no, it's the gatekeeper. Greetings, friend. Is it the same voice too? Nothing to report today. Do you remember me? I used to guard the gate back at Garrig Mod. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, I remember you, but uh, why are you here? Actually, it's kind of a long story, but basically, I wasn't at Garrig Mach when the Imperial Army attacked. I was accompanying a friend back to their home when we heard news on our way to Dairdu. I tried to hurry back. But then I got word that Garrick Mach had already fallen. It was awful. I didn't know what to do with myself since everyone from the church had fled to the kingdom. Really appreciate it. Then my friend asked me to come guard this gate, and here I am. Gonna have, I'm gonna do my best to keep you all safe. Yeah, let's try inviting on an expedition. Let's try this out. I'll go with Lysithia. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. The planes. Let's be on our way. Oh, it has them on little horses and the, the loading bar. That's cute. Nope. Oh. Okay, we're getting some first person camera action. You've arrived in a vast expanse of green natural splendor stretching out as far as the eye can see. You tie up your horses to graze by the meadow. It feels as though time flows slower in open spaces like this. After enjoying a pleasant stroll, Shaz and Lysithia decided to take a break. Oh my gosh. Looking around. Okay. Talk, ask a question. I find the mercenary lifestyle fascinating. It's a world that's so far removed from my own. Say it's not a world to just peek into. You can teach her if she wants. There's freedom, but also danger. Yeah. I see. Uh, ask a question. It's about their worries, memories of the past, what they think of you, their dislikes, their likes, about the dreams for the future. Let's about her likes. I like can uh, canopies. Yes, tree canopies are just so lush. Don't you agree? <laughs> I mean, I did laugh. Call her out, be shocked, or laugh. Uh. 
Laugh? No, that was bad. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, let's go about their home. Apparently, Ordelia territory used to have a lot of fertile land, but that's not the case now. Say you're also from Ordelia territory. Suggest you make it fertile again. Express worry. Does that character even know where they're from? Let's express worry. Oh. I guess that was also bad. Conversation it's fizzled. It's been a while since I've been able to relax like that. It wasn't half bad. Well, we got uh, morale, so that's good. Now it's time for Shuts and Hilda. Is that the only support I have? Whew, glad that's finally over. Oh hey, nice job out there. You too, Hilda. Good to see you back safe and sound. That was one close fight, huh? You think so? I didn't even break a sweat. Really? Well, I guess we did have the upper hand for most of it. We sure did. And yet you still charged headfirst into the most contested part of the battlefield. You know, that's why you end up feeling like every battle is some huge ordeal. It's so unnecessary. Push back. Whoa, hey now. Unnecessary? That's a little harsh. Someone has to get in there and turn the battle in our favor. Even if it's dangerous. I know, but why do you always have to be that someone? Living fast and loose is only gonna land you in an early grave. Well, it's not like I'm trying to live like anything. This is just how mercenaries are. You can't distinguish yourself by hanging around in the back. And if you don't stand out, you don't get paid. People notice you if you do something showy on the front lines. And that can bring in the next job, you know? Uh, you're basically commanding an entire army now? What does recognition matter at this point? You're probably right. I guess I've just gotten so used to fighting like that, it's hard to change. Aren't there a bunch of mercenaries in Goneril territory? Pretty sure I've heard of a merc company stationed at the throat. Yeah, we use mercenaries a lot when we're beating back the Almiron army. Then I'm sure they're the same as me. Haven't you seen them going all hog wild, competing with each other up at the front? Hmm, I've never really fought with them, but I can imagine that they're way different from regular knights. My brother is always going on about how some guy from some mercenary company or other died fighting at his side. No surprise there. The more a merc makes a show of themselves, the easier it is for the enemy to spot them. Right? And that's exactly why I'm worried about you. You don't have to stress about grabbing attention and getting paid anymore. So just take it easy, okay? We don't want you dying before your time. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll keep that in mind. It's not like I have a death wish or something. I can't really change my fighting style overnight, but I'll try to keep the recklessness to a minimum. Don't worry. Hmm. You know, I've never seen a noble worry so much about a mercenary. You just sit back and enjoy the show, all right? Enjoy the show? Yeah, <laughs> that sort of talk is so not making me feel any better. Extra quests. Very rarely extra quests will appear on the war map. It's like that little cross swords. Extra quests offer a chance to get numerous rewards from couriers and monsters. Extra quests will disappear when the counter reaches zero. The counter will decrease each time a new region is captured. Basically, I just want to get to this as soon as possible. Okay, let's go do this battle. Gain control of all strongholds. Time to go. Okay. Let's get fired Let's go. Now we have Pegasus Knight Leone. Feel free to do my share of the fighting too. This is the strongholds. Yeah, mess him up. Just get him up in the air and just beat him up. Oh. That's 
much easier to break their gauges now that we have the like two arrow advantage. Tracking shot, spiral shot. It's a lot of pew pews. Pew 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 pew. Easy enough. We have to stem the tide. It's done. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. We did it. Die. Okay. Perfectly. Uh, the dude. There he is. Special them. She summons an ice. Enjoy your eternal sleep. Oh, this guy's still alive. Okay. Got that. Feels good to fight for a cause. Oh, they brought that line back. Oh shit. Get him. Pop, 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 pop. Bum. This doesn't oh, a monster good. appeared? Eat the XP Demon Beast. Shaz, come here. Oh, when did I take all that damage to Shamir? I didn't even notice. Sweet. Bam. Yeah, come here. Just gonna have to kill him the slow way. Apocalyptic flame. Okay, give me that break bar. Bam. Take that. Ooh, and this. Stronghold captain. Just beat him up with this. And this should be the end of the battle. It's not. We're not losing to anyone. We won. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, my time was too slow for nice rank. Oh well. Okay. Just MVP Shamir. Uh, looks like the Imperial Army has finally begun their march in earnest, and they're headed straight for Daredrew. Okay, but what's the problem? This is exactly what you thought would happen. True enough. But even if I read the enemy perfectly and our allies do their absolute best, 
I can't do a thing about the odds. In the end, it's still a coin toss. It never should have come to this. If only I'd managed everything better in the first place. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. That's not like you. There was no avoiding this situation, regardless of who was leading the Alliance. In fact, I bet things would be a whole lot worse if it was someone else. Maybe, but I'm not so sure. I can't help but feel there was another way I could have handled this. I had all these grand ambitions when I became leader. So much I wanted to achieve. But there's no time for any of that now. I've got my hands full just trying to keep the Alliance safe. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Tell me, friend. What should I do next? Why are you asking me? I'm no fortune teller. <laughs> Fair point. I guess all we can do now is keep moving forward. One foot in front of the other. Do you think your leader is all right? He seems a bit worn out. Well, I tried to cheer him up, but I don't think it did much. Ultimately, all I can do is my best. That's probably the only thing that'll actually help Claude anyway. Okay, support conversation with Hilda and Leonie. Anyone here? Oh, Hilda! Perfect! I am, aren't I? Huh. Now, what do you need? I was thinking about getting another round of practice in, but I need a partner. And here you stand. So what do you say? What? But it's so late! Yes, but <laughs> I just thought of a fantastic move, and I need to try it out or I'll never be able to sleep. Yeah, but I've already bathed, and I really don't want to get all sweaty and gross again. <laughs> Wait, is that you? You smell amazing. I know! I use floral oils. I've got a whole bunch of them, and I mix and match based on the situation or just, you know, mood. Wow. That's impressive. I bet you're wondering why I'd go to all that trouble, right? Well, scent is very important. One whiff of something nice can turn a person's entire day around. I get that, but I don't really think it's for me. I'm always training or hunting or something, and the constant sweat would probably wash it right off. Which is exactly why you should use floral scents. Then you'll smell like a delightful bouquet and not some kind of hog farmer. <laughs> I mean, you're cute already, but you could be the whole package if you just leaned into it. You think I'm... cute? No one's ever said that to me before. Or anything even remotely like it, actually. You know what? Let's just do it! <laughs> Come to my tent. That's where I keep the stash. <laughs> she calls it the stash. I really don't think this is for me. Oh, don't be silly. It is absolutely for you. No, really. Besides, I have to go practice that move. Well, too bad. But I'll come find you tomorrow, okay? Oh, this is so exciting. Wait, I don't think I actually agree to anything. Never mind. I'm leaving. Bye. Yep, just a little bit of effort and she'll really be the whole package. All right, let's do this battle. But I wanted to slack off. I won't let you down. I will not see my family's good name solely. Raise that flag up high. Forward march. Defeat the thieves and Imperial Armor Army General. Oh, hello, priest. All would be lost if I were to die here. Oh, my bad. Bam. Captain in there. Boom. Enemy Commander Ladislava appeared. Huh. 
She makes her introduction. For the Empire. Hey, Shamir, Imperial I have a target. is happening. Just now their enemies are attacking with magic. Take a breather. We did it. Let's take it down at once. I've got you now. I got Lotus Love and the Priest. Nice. Watch closely. I'm not a child. I can still fight. Okay, you're dead. I think I'm in trouble here. No time to slow down. We'll be taking this now. Ow. That was close. I'm not a child. Stronghold's ours. Shamir's right here. What? I wanted to be Shamir. Kill this Pegasus tonight. Ow. There, die. Oh, we're done. Was on our side today. I won't let myself we beat a Shez. Support Shez and Shamir. I should call it a day. You sticking around? Nah, I should finish up too. Thanks, Shamir. I have to work out new unit formations for our next battle. Hmm. You're pretty conscientious for a mercenary. That's rare in our profession. Well, sorry to cut and run. Good luck with all that. If you're really sorry, you could always give me a hand sometime. It's my responsibility, but that doesn't mean I have to do it alone. Fair enough. Come find me next time I'm off duty. Really? Thanks. Dependable as always, Shamir. Honestly, you're so mature for your age. You always seem so composed, almost wise. Even when we're just chatting. I wouldn't say wise. Save that for the higher-ups. I just mind my own business. Plenty of mercenaries do the same. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. You know, you're pretty easygoing yourself, even by Merc standards. Have you been on your own for long? Didn't you belong to a mercenary group at some point? Yeah, but I bounced around a lot. Let's see. The company I was with the longest was probably Burling's Mercenaries, the last one I joined. Oh, and they're all dead now. But then we clashed with Gerald's band, and I was the only one who survived. There isn't a mercenary who hasn't lost someone or something along the way. The losing trusted comrades stays with you. Yeah. Captain Burling, Getz, Lasley. We were a tight-knit group, if a little rough around the edges. I would have been content staying with them till the end. Maybe your experience is what's made you so pragmatic. It takes real strength to overcome past hardships and move on. That's what I think, anyway. You know, you seem way more pragmatic than me. I wonder what made you that way. You should know not to pry into a mercenary's past. But if the right moment comes, maybe I'll tell you about it. In the next support conversation, Imperial forces on route to Dareju are clashing with some bandits. Take this opportunity to eliminate both. We get the training point recovered. Immediate seal. Let's go. We won't last at this rate. We need assistance. Oh, they're never done. Just got sucked in here. Die. Nice. Okay. 
and switch to Zithia. Ow. What the heck was that? Man, go away. Her up there. Okay, come here, you. Oh, I missed him. It's finished. What a nuisance. I can't let you show me up. Knowing when to retreat. Oh, it's Petra. You are not being a match for me. Interesting what she's you done with her hair. McNeary, the new queen of Bridget. Okay, kill this monk. Die. Special hair. Wind ball. And die. And we're done. Another achievement for that. A rank. Intermediate seal. MVP Leone. This is extra quest here. Set out on the extra quest and unexpected encounter. Sure. Okay. Bye. We have to win, no matter what. It all boils down to win or lose. Yeah, I'll give it everything I've got. Beat the armored knight and their allies. And you all die. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. Oh, hello, Armored Knight. I'll just explode you. Boom. No oh, hello, Archer. You underestimated me. Nice one. Goodbye. Bum. We can skip my turn, you know. Just kill that. Some armor knight on armor knight action. Smash! Things have taken a turn for the worse. We must begin a point for else. Beat the armored knight and the giant wolf to win the battle. There's a giant wolf. Let's go back to Lysithia. Armored knight. All would be lost if I were to die here. What's next? Alright, we gone. Is that all we've got? 
Hello, giant wolf. Need a sword user over here. your thing breaking. Come on. There we go. Boom. Okay, we don't have a lance user right now. Dead? I thought he had another HP bar to go. That's no surprise. I worked much harder than anyone else. I must MVP like it, yeah. Let's hop into this battle. Closely. Yeah. Control you. We'll turn the tables lickety split. And the guy got exploded. You're here to help, are you not? Squirt the the archer dude. Bye, archer. Take a breather. Oh, this guy. Froze me. Like unfreeze, please. What the heck? Take that real quick. Okay, let's run past you. I need to get over here. I'm sorry. I'm coming. Come to smash. Build a smash. Build a smash. They were no match for Hilda Smash. Die. This is guy. Get out of here. Hilda, smash! Don't mind if I do, Vern. Okay, archers, die. I've got you now. Okay, again. Let us begin our advance. Hmm. 
Give me a stronghold, Captain. It's my turn. Right on. Yeah. Get Leone in here. Beat the thief and claim victory. Okay, well, stronghold captain's dead. Whoa, you're pretty strong. Give me that. Put some glowing embers. Finish you off. And we're done. Let's drink. Let's be a bullion. MVP Shez. 